All right, uh, just uh, got my order from eBay that come in today. Uh, it is uh, a Samsung, or supposed to be a Samsung, 64 gigabyte uh, micro SD card, and I just not really that sure about it, how legitimate it is. We'll, we'll find out. Uh, it looks pretty authentic, to be honest with you. The, the only thing I... I scanned the barcode on it just now, and it came back as a, a Samsung 32 gig card, which I'm thinking mm, that might be the deal. Maybe he's restamped them or something, but we'll see. I'm gonna get into it now. Okay, like I said, after doing a, a barcode scan, uh, product came back as uh, one that was for sale on Amazon, Amazon.com uh, for it was a Samsung. Uh, micro SD, uh, class 10 micro SD for uh, 17.99. It was 32 gigabytes was what the uh, barcode came back as. <clears throat> so I downloaded a little program to to test the uh, sectors, I guess, or the partitions on the to test it out to see how large it really was. It shows up in my phone and it shows up in my computer as a uh, what 62 and change gigabyte which is you know you get a 64 gigabyte card or uh, that's the what that's what hard drives any any type of flash drive is the same way you get to close to what they what they say so uh it came back as faulty i'll uh, include a uh, a link to the uh, website where you can download the tool to test uh, these boogers but uh, it, it, it is, it's not legit, which I didn't think it would be, of course, and uh, uh, <laughs> no, no big surprise. Okay, for those of you who would like to know uh, the seller, and again, uh, uh, it's probably 90% <laughs> of the sellers on eBay are the same. But this particular guy, if you notice, he only has 196 uh, uh, feedbacks or whatever, and uh at 99%, you think, well, it's, it's okay. But my guess is he probably changes his, uh, he probably is constantly changing his uh, ID. But uh, you see who that is. I'm not going to say it out, but you can see. Uh, because, you know, who knows? It may have been a, a, a flub. Very doubtful. I'm pretty sure that it's, the entire thing is a scam. And I, I like I, I said it before, uh, you're better off going to Wally World or, uh, or anywhere for our Best Buy, you're going to pay a hell of a lot more, no question about that. But you're going to get legitimately get what you what you went to get. Uh, kind of surprised that eBay has it. Uh, well, they're making money, and uh, that's why he was so quick to refund. Is because if you launch a complaint, they'll do a little bit of an investigation and realize it's like, okay, this guy's screwing people. And like I said, he makes a ton of money off of these cards. So it doesn't hurt him to refund. He didn't even didn't even request the item back, which is very unusual. And uh, uh, anytime I sell something on eBay, if there's a complaint about it, don't get me wrong, I, I most definitely will refund money. But uh, I won't uh, just immediately do it. I want to want to know what's up with it. Of course, you know I'm going to question people. Uh, if it's if you want your money back, that's fine. But why? Uh, and I have, uh, there was one case of uh, an inkjet uh, printer cartridge that I had sold. Well, the date it had expired on it, and uh, I didn't realize that. And I told the lady to keep it in that circumstance and just refunded her money. Uh, Honesty is the best policy, and, you know. So, hey, wish this guy would catch on. <laughs> like I said, as you can see, uh, once inserted into the, uh, the computer and you click on properties, it shows up as a uh, as having uh, 62.4 gigabytes of free space, but what I found was that uh, the actual space on it was closer to four, three, three or four. Because once you get over that amount, the items appear to go on to the to the drive to the uh, flash card. But uh, when you try to observe them or try to uh, to uh, play them, they don't play. So. <laughs> Uh, that's the biggest gripe about this. Now, like I said, I assumed it was it was fraud, which is what it, I assumed it was when I ordered it, just to see what uh, what it was. Um, it was a 64 gig uh, 
micro SD for $29, $29, close to $30, bucks, which is considerably cheaper than it would be at Best Buy, but uh, the Class 10 anyway. But uh, like I said, I assumed it was fake, and of course it was. As the, 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 the seller on eBay, he has, I think he has less than 200, less than 300 uh, positive feedbacks, but he has 100% on his feedback rating. Uh, because a lot of people would simply put it into their phones and assume they have 64 gigs of storage because it says they have 64 gigs of storage and uh, without actually checking it. And then one day they're, you know, they're going to uh, want to look at their photographs, which I, I, I'm thinking that uh, it would continue to take and save photographs until you actually wanted to play them back. And if you're, you know, especially if you're, you've got memories to, which that that's the, the main reason I made the videos, or this video, is because if you've got uh, precious memories in particular, and you want to play them back, and they're not there to play back because this guy screwed you. Oh. But anyway, I uh, sent him a message as soon as I discovered it was less than four gigs available on the drive, and then and told him uh, what I had discovered nicely, I might add. I'm not, I'm not calling the guy criminal. I'm pretty sure he is, but uh, this is America, innocent until proven guilty. Uh, he, within half an hour, refunded my money and said, ooh, it was embarrassing and that had never happened before. Didn't ask for the item back or anything. Just simply refunded my money. And... Uh, <clears throat> So I uh, I understand how he's got his feedback. Anyone that questions him on it, he gives them money back, and they keep the item. And you know, you, you get this sense of, of winning, but you didn't win. Uh, I mean, I, it didn't cost me anything, but hell, it didn't cost him anything either. I I would say at the very most, these cards probably set the sellers back uh, two dollars at the most, at the very most, and. Uh, it, they may even get them for 50 cents to a buck so uh, buyer beware and understand that uh, if, you, if you want an SD card for your phone or your camera it's wise to, to hey go to Walmart or Best Buy uh, I, I know they're expensive but uh, they're just simply too easy to duplicate apparently too easy to duplicate and and, and make uh, and make phony uh, And you can you can kind of it just has a it has a feel to it that it, it feels fake even the adapter feels fake so uh, like I said I'll include a link to the uh, in the in the description to the the site where you can download the little tester thing that uh, or or so another way you can actually test without doing anything if you've got uh, if you've got uh, several gigs of uh, movies or, or which is another thing I did I loaded like uh, three or four movies onto it at two two or three gigs per and uh, after the second movie the first two played fine and it stored the first two which I'm guessing was around four gigs and then it quit um, so buyer beware